All right, so here we have two new motors from my RC Mart. These are the RCX LS2207 2400 kV and LS2207 2700 kV. Uh, there's also a 1700 kV version of the same motor, but I, I don't have that one, so only these two for testing. My RC Mart uh, was kind enough to send me two sets, uh, one, of, one, set, one set of each motor, uh, so eight motors total. Uh, for testing so that I can uh, get some results for you guys uh, you can check them out and uh, you know uh, see how they compare to other motors I requested uh, full sets because I suggested to my RC Mart that it would be a good idea if we give them away if we give a set away to a lucky viewer I told them that that would be good publicity and uh, you know as a way to thank uh, viewers if they could help me out with that so they said yes so they sent me 8 motors one set of 2400 kV and one set of 2700 kV so all you guys have to do is uh, just put one comment on the video just don't put more than one comment because then you'll be disqualified and unfortunately I'll only be able to uh, ship these to people within the US so for I know I have a lot of viewers from abroad you know from uh, other countries uh, so I want to apologize for not uh, including you guys in the um, in, you know in the raffle so sorry about that but it just gets too uh, difficult and complicated to send out stuff uh, overseas but uh, I'll have to say that if uh, if you do want to participate and and you're willing to pay for shipping out of the US to your country that's fine too uh, I think uh, most uh, US shipping to outside uh, runs around uh, I want to say around $25 last time I tried to ship something by uh, USPS uh, global it was around 25 bucks I think so so it's kind of expensive and then you probably have to pay customs uh, fees there so it's almost as much as buying it from uh, from my RCX uh, these motors are uh, low budget motors from RCX so th they're only $12 with the warranty and if you opt to go without the warranty so that that cuts out uh, $2 so they're only 10 bucks 10 bucks per motor uh, so I said it's like 40 bucks per shipping so these are based off the NK2207 which I recently also reviewed and tested uh, so basically it's the same armature same uh, shaft and what they're saying is the difference is that they're using different bearings more generic bearings and also the magnets are different and uh, they're also saying the steel on the stator is different uh, but it doesn't mean that the motor is going to perform poorly so it, uh, I would imagine it, it's only going to be slightly uh, less powerful uh, the bearing though uh, that's the one good thing that RCX uses in their bearings uh, for their other motors they use ESO bearings which are Japanese and those are pretty high grade bearings so I like those bearings a lot they do sell them in their at, uh, in their store so you can always uh, you know you can always replace them later with uh, really good bearings uh, you could just use those and see how long they last and when it comes time to replace them just get a set of ESO bearings and just put those in so overall it looks the same as the NK2207 so I'll, I'll link that uh, test on the uh, video so it'll be a link right there so as you saw on that review it's pretty much all the latest features on this motor uh, naked bottom uh, small base it looks like a 16 by 16 uh, pattern and 18 gauge wire so pretty nice and beefy wire for for this motor so should be able to um, to handle all the current that these 22 7s are gonna pull from the battery so one piece hollow shaft and it is hollow all the way through so that's good and there's a shaft retaining screw right there uh, it's a little bit it's one of those smaller screws let's weigh this motor with uh, the hundred this is a hundred and fifty millimeters uh, worth of uh, wire so let's see what it weighs with that wire 
and that comes in to 35.3 grams so if we cut it to 50 millimeters we'll be getting rid of 3.3 uh, grams so that's quite uh, quite a good amount of weight uh, so the motor itself is about 32 grams 31.9 so not too bad for a 2207 most top end 2207s are between 31 and 32 grams so that's that's right on the spot so pretty good weight on that motor I'll see if I can remove that easily um, if it's easy to remove and we'll pull it apart and just have a look uh, have a closer look uh, so removing the shaft retaining screw with a decent Allen driver it's not too bad it does have enough Loctite to keep it in place but luckily they didn't use the nasty stuff which is like really hard glue so that comes off pretty easily and looks like there's a brass washer right there and hollow shaft all the way through so that's pretty pretty good so let's see pulls apart pretty easily and there's the four millimeter shaft and as you can see the magnet looks like they do have a little bit of a curve right there they're not really that chunky so so that's uh, kind of interesting we'll see how that performs there's the stator uh, same as the NK2207 so it uh, should be seven millimeters uh, so that's the nominal seven millimeters uh, height on the stator and wires uh, they're so it looks like they're using multi-strand wire. It looks like a bundle of three wires. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. Bearings are just uh, generic uh, bearings, uh, but they say they should be pretty good. Uh, they're lower quality than the ESO bearings that the NK2207 use, but on the RCX website it says that they're pretty good quality still. So we'll see how those do after you guys abuse them. I guess we'll see the reports later. So we'll put this back together and see how the motor uh, how this motor performs on the thrust stand and uh, we'll do the usual KV measurement and usual propellers and as typical with uh, a lot of the R6 motors the bearings are pretty easy to remove so that's a big plus so they come off comes off pretty pretty easily and goes in pretty easily as well all right so I'll put that screw back in and uh, we'll see how it does. Alright, let's look at the thrust test results for the new motor from RCX. This one's the LS2207-2700 kV. And very much like the motor that is derived from the NK2207, this one also has higher kV than spec. 
Uh, this one came in at 2875 and the NK2207 measured at 2930 if I recall correctly. So based on that KV, I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S, the usual props, starting with the 5-inch Genfan 5045BN. As I always mention, one thing to keep in mind is that these static thrust tests exaggerate on the amps used. That's just the nature of the test. Amps are going to be quite high, especially because I'm reporting here max amps. So these are momentary burst max amps, and that's why they appear so high. But that's what I use uh, for consistency. That's what I've been using. In flight, the equivalent uh, max burst is going to be around 35 to 40% lower. And uh, that's only going to be for maybe a second at most. And as the battery starts to uh, sag, the voltage starts to sag, of course the amps are gonna uh, taper down uh, so usually a good uh, rule of thumb is if you go by the 35 to 40 percent lower uh, you'll be all right but as I said uh, for consistency I maintain this voltage uh, for testing all throughout the test so that we test all motors under the same conditions so we're able to compare motor to motor all right with that aside uh, the gen fan 5045bn uh, making 1753 grams quite a lot of thrust for this two blade prop of course that comes at a cost of uh, 53.4 amps on the thrust stand and that's about 32 amps in flight equivalent max so still within a 30 amp uh, ESC capability because that's again that's burst uh, then moving on to the 5043 by 3 prop uh, slightly higher thrust that's 1782 amps uh, keep climbing of course with thrust the uh, amps are going to climb uh, then we move on to the 5040 by 4 props 1828 at uh, nearly 60 amps so quite a lot of amps uh, out of this motor uh, mainly of course because of the very high kv of course high kv high thrust and high amps those go hand in hand 5045 by 3 and uh, then we move on to the 5045 by 3 hq b1s 1855 at 60.5 amps again uh, that's quite a lot of thrust right there uh, then on to the more aggressive props 5046 and the 5045 by 3 1868 and 1895 almost 1900 grams at uh, 64 amps basically uh, then the HQ 5545 BN uh, 1937 approaching 2 kilograms at uh, 71 amps so quite high and then we move on to the 6 inch prop over 2 kilograms 2115 that's probably one of the highest output uh, 2207s that I've tested I think of course that's gonna draw a lot of amps so this is probably not a good match on 4s uh, I know for people that like to use these motors on 3s that could be a good setup for those park flyers out there that uh, like to use these motors on 6 inch props this should be quite a peppy motor for that use so overall quite a powerful motor of course all that power comes at a cost uh, the amps are quite up there that probably will translate into very short flights but i'm sure this will be one fun motor to fly uh, even if it's for a short two to two and a half minutes so pretty good offering from uh, rcx considering its price point quite amazing actually to have a ten dollar motor making this much uh, thrust so it's going to be interesting to see how this motor ends up uh, being used. Uh, be looking forward to the videos of this uh, motor in flight. Uh, so once again, I want to thank uh, my RC Mart for providing these motors for testing and for the giveaway. So one lucky viewer is going to get these motors uh, shipped out to them. I'll be doing the drawing in a couple of weeks, so check back. I'll make a short video announcing the winner. So uh, good luck to everyone and uh, thank to my RC Marts for sending these motors for testing and for the giveaway. All right, uh, that's the thrust test and results. Uh, thank you for watching and hope you find this review useful. And until the next video.